yeah, you've got about two hectares in total. Um, the back is mainly lawn right across the back of the house, goes the full width of the house. Um, there's a big pond at the front. The big field um, beyond the lawn is with the house as well. Um, so as I say, it offers lots of potential for if you want to have animals or horses. But what I like about the front is it's got lots of areas that haven't really been used properly yet. Yeah, so you've also got a big polytunnel here, which is really large, fully intact. So if you want to be self-sufficient, grow veg, or have some kind of um, fruit and veg um, market from home, you can do that. Lots of people do that in France. Um, you've got the stables and outbuildings, which I think were originally stables, nice tiled roofs, so they could easily be stables again. Um, the double gates with the emblem on the front, which is the original emblem of the house, which is fantastic. And I just think you've got a big pond in the middle, which could be made a lot more of a feature. But the space is very similar. The garden space to the front and the back are very similar. It kind of, kind of swings around the whole house, the garden. So you haven't just got one pocket that you can actually walk around the whole house with the garden. And um, lots of trees as well, lots of big fir trees, lots of mature trees. So obviously in the summer you've got lots of shelter if you want shade. But it's just, um, it's just a really lovely setting. Um, the house is the, it's, it's a prominent thing and it's a nice old house but I think it's just a, a, a real nice place to be but I just think there's still so much you can do with this house that's not been a gym yet. mini chateau come coach house um, the two towers you see from the front date back to 1869 but it's rumored that the middle of the house is much older than that so there's a lot of history with it we have a total of seven bedrooms four bathrooms um, three reception rooms um, there is a jeet on the end so if you want the house and you want income although it's part of the house it can be separated off and give you a three bedroom sheet at the end with income I think the income side as we know coming over now income is good if you're going to come with a visa so you've got the the um, sheet on the end which would provide good income over the year and would help you get any kind of visa approval through but I think um, two families be good if you've got a parent if you're bringing parents with you um, they can have the nice big three bedroom sheet and you can have the main house so they've got their own um, space and their own um, environment to, to be within but could be close to family you can keep an eye on them and help them where needed so I think it opens the doors up for um, potentially with people with horses because you've got a hectare field out the back so if it was fenced off you could have horses here as well so it could become some kind of equestrian place as well quite easily lots of space lots more you can do with the house as well particularly outside there's lots of things you can do with it um, and i think it's you're only about three kilometers from uh, brussia portavine so you've got a small town with your daily facilities and you're about 20 minutes from ladora and belac which both have main train stations which is a real advantage and of course they're much bigger towns so you've got many restaurants and choices of things to do there but it's um yeah it's tucked away up here it's uh, it's a nice spot yet you're not isolated so um it's uh, it, it's quite an imposing house and i think it's a it's a great buy for a, a large family to come and uh, move to France. The, the room we're in now, the kitchen is a real country style, really nice kitchen, real family space. Um, the views are fantastic, back and front. Um, you'll see that in the pictures. The views are brilliant across the, all around the house. Um, and I think it's proximity, as I say, it's close to, to towns, it's close to facilities. But I think if you want to have that peace and quiet of France, you want to live in rural France, but not be isolated, then, um, then you know, this is the place for you. And some of the features in here, the panelling, the attention to detail, the windows, the handles of the windows, um, the radiator handles are very authentic and very old. They've tried to do the place um, to keep it as traditional and as, 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 you know, in keeping with what it should have been. And I think there's been no, no sort of time spent looking at the detail and getting that correct. So I think it's, a, it's quite an imposing house, but I think it, it offers a fantastic family home. And, you say you're rural, so you've got that peace and quiet, but you're close enough to everything to be able to enjoy fun. Yeah, it's real sort of traditional farmhouse style. It's obviously been um, um, fully renovated as, as the whole house has, but it's also good because of the light. You've got a huge window at the back, two on the front, so you've got excellent light. Sun comes up one side, comes around the other, so throughout the day you have got sun coming into the room. Um, the central island's fantastic, huge space, and I should think it's a nice space. You can cook here, you can eat here, you've got the dining room through there, so if you've got guests around, it flows really well, and you can be cooking without ignoring your guests and chatting through. Um, lovely fireplace behind me, which you know, I can feel nice and warm, so uh, that's great, and I'll see the big Arga cooker. Um, it, it's kind of the hub of the home, this one. I think it's, it's, you know, with lovely beams on the ceiling, the pans hanging from the top of the island, it's, it's the real hub of the home, this room. 
yeah, again, lots of light. It's got wonderful views through the windows at the back across the gardens and the fields, which are owned by the house. And you'll see it's got lots of beautiful panelling. You see the panelling in here. It's, um, there's a lot of this around the house and there's been no expense spared when doing that. It's a real feature of the house throughout the house, the, the panelled hallways and landings. And I think it's... Um, I know it was it was uh, it was it was costly to do, and it took an artisan many years to get the whole house, all the panelling done. So it's uh, I like this room because it's not it's not such a massive room that it's not homely. So it's big enough, it's cosy, um, but the panelling really sets it off half panelling all the way around, and just sets the room off to make it feel like a real you know, country style living room. And, and say so the, the light from the back is fantastic, and the sun's on the back most of the day. So and the views from here when you're sitting here, you can see right across the land as well, which is really good. It's a big room, I think it's sort of 12 metres square, which is big for a study. It's got the half panel in again all the way around. Huge window um, out to the back with the fields. But I think, you know, the way the world has gone recently and, you know, since all the COVID, it's people are working from home and this is the perfect environment to do it. You can shut yourself away in here. Um, the, the house has got fibre as well, so that's remote. It's got fibre, which is fantastic. But if you put your chair and desk in the right place, you can sit in this study, work beautifully and, and just look out your views across your land whilst you're working. So it's a very, very pleasant room to work in.